getting washed its first wash ever. Right, Jason. How you doing? How we doing, mate? JW Autoshine, add him on Facebook, Instagram, all that sort of good Hi. stuff. What's actually happening in this video is Trump. that doing Trump, Trump, for a start and a background shout out. The thing is, right, can you ceramic coat old Rust. rusty crap cars? But basic breakdown is that this isn't actually the original paint. Underneath, there would have been a military green. Oh, I just don't know how rough it is. <laughs> Say that it's very, very rough. This is a rollered on. We'll have to roll the coating on. <laughs> so, usually, the usual thing, as the realization goes on in the background, usually you would actually use an applicator to do this. Actually, make this bead. If we can make this car bead, is a big thing. This isn't a normal video. The glass will work. The glass will work. I like that. This is the thing. Nothing can be polished. That's the thing. It needs to stay rusty. So, can this be done? Um. <laughs> We'll find out. So the truck is in the bay at Jason's right. We're gonna run through exactly what's gonna happen here because explaining this to people is 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 paramount. This thing has been fake patinaed and rolled on. It's harsh at best, I think. It's not like a normal spray job at all. Weathered, I think the word is. Trying to get the applicator or, or any applicator to actually apply a product to this paint is gonna be the biggest battle. And that's what we're trying to do in this video is show that that's capable, I think. So what I'm gonna do is walk away and leave it up to you. <laughs> because leave a professional to it. Obviously, we're gonna ceramic coat the actual truck itself with a paint sealant. That's what's gonna happen. Ceramic sealant. Ceramic sealant. Ceramic sealant. We we'll use one of Car Pro sealant. No one ceramic coats something like this. No, but to be fair, it needs to look nice for you to show. Yeah, so it needs to be lovely. So when I say nice, it doesn't want all the dirt and the bugs and stuff. Yeah, it's so if we can make it, it to be good. hydrophobic, that's the aim of the game here. We're not looking for shine and depth. We're looking for protection. Although it's like rusty and stuff, you still you want, want to protect it. it. Yeah, I want to keep it this way. I want to stop its aging process right now. It's Monday. We'll see Jamie. Wednesday, Thursday, after Hopefully, Wednesday. and we'll have a run for it, see how it comes out. This isn't a normal video, this isn't a normal car, this isn't a normal process, but it should be a good one. Also, shout out to Jason's new work environment. Absolutely mega, mate. It's like, makes my old crap thing look really cool in here. <laughs> What is it, mate? Wow, that's really bad. So, got some things that are gonna help you. Then. Yeah, there's a couple of things that are <laughs> worrying. Visibility is one of them. Not surprised your glass is black. black. Oh dear. Visibility sometimes is a little bit out on this. <laughs> a little bit out. <laughs> a little bit out. Uh, 45, 50 year old truck, it's had a life. So is the glass. Taking all of the uh, contamination, contamination off. off of the glass is the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna apply some products to help with the fog that this uh, truck creates when you're driving. Car Pro, do something cool, you can see that. So this reduces, sometimes completely, build up of condensation on the windscreen. So as the guys carry off, I've actually just grabbed their paint depth gauge. Just have a look around the truck and see what depths we're going with. And for a laugh, let's go in. So usually what is 105, 110 for a brand new car. So let's go on here, right there. 139, not too bad. Let's go to a bit of rust around the back. So say on the bed here, 50. <laughs> so let's go to this wing, because I think this is probably where most of the uh, paint is 648 wow also the reason we're taking so much time with the uh, cleaning of the glass is because that's really the only bit you can clean properly <laughs> yeah. the rest of it is literally ceramic coating the car up like putting the stuff on you want to use anything with too strong solvent taking the advice from Craig and car Pro, sort of mutually agreed that skin will be the perfect solution because it doesn't have a really aggressive solvent designed to go on PPF yeah, vinyl next up every glass here we go so this is a product to try and eliminate a few oils on your glass your aged windscreen, do dobs of that on a cerry glass pad. Very nice. And the reality is, again, I'm going to reiterate, this is the only bit we're going to polish. Because you can't polish this truck. It's just not going to work, is it? I'm going to polish a glass. Try and get all the haze and horribleness this side. But as you can see, what Jason's just done. You can, yeah, I can see it in person. It's, yeah, they're right there. 
Look at this side and look at that side. It looks like a brand new windscreen, mate. If it does over 70, you won't have to use your wipers. That'd be nice. I don't like going over 40 in this though, so <laughs> 41 is probably as far as I want to go. Rubber gloves are on. <laughs> Lovely. We have this that we used. We actually used this on the X6, didn't we? Yes, yeah. This was the stuff. Skin. Skin, which will work very well on the paint and the graphics. I'm going to buff. You're going to do the apply. hard bit. <laughs> because you don't want to leave this on too long. You want to make sure it comes off straight away because you don't want it to go. We don't want it to go shiny. So shiny. Shiny. I think the, the camera can sort of show how clean but old and crap it looks at yeah. the same time still. That's exactly what we wanted. People ask me why I'm not lacquering the truck. Right. I don't want it shiny. Don't want it shiny no. This is why we're using this. I want it to still be like a matte finish. Perfect. And yeah, you could matte lacquer it if you wanted to, but it still won't come out the way I want it. I still no. want it to be like this finish. Nanotechnology is why. Nanotechnology coming in there with the swift facts. Love it. ceramic coating over rust at the moment. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> to you, this feels very wrong, doesn't it? Yeah. Very, very wrong. People behind here, like watching the video at the moment, will think that this is so wrong as well. Preservation. Yeah, preservation. Oh, you, uh, wipe that down now, mate. I shall. You can wipe your corrosion. <laughs> yeah, corrosion down. <laughs> So here's a really good contrast between the product being on the truck versus it not. So I hope you guys can really see this, but this is the side that's been done, just on the uh, front arch here, and the bonnet hasn't been done. And as you can see, although it's not glossy, it's actually like a matte satin sort of effect that's going over the truck versus the original sort of really dull paint that was actually on it. So that's after, that's before. Huge difference using this product. It's glass time. So I've already decontaminated it. I have polished it. I've tried to get some scratches out of it. I've got some lumps of steel out of it. <laughs> lumps of steel? There was many things in this glass, let's just say that. Thanks to Carpro again. We're gonna install some Flyby 40. It just makes the glass behave in a way like the coating does on your car. So it's aquaphobic, water flies off. We're gonna put some coating on. Let's get the application on. So pulling it outside, Tommy Mac and Evo will we'll gloss past the fact that that's in the side of the shot. Just just absolute state of it, state of it. Um, we were just chatting. Yeah. This look, I know on camera it may not look that different, yeah, it does. but like, oh, it's so much, um, I think flatter, yeah. matte, no gloss, but protected. And But it looks like it's protected, do you know what I mean? It looks a lot smoother as well, like, the patina that's been put on, you know, it is very pastel y. Yeah. Yeah. The pastel effect has really come out. Oh, yeah. Oh, so. So, oh, mate. The glass, this was horrendous when it came in. Like, not even a joke. I, I had trouble seeing out of this on the way to players and stuff. It was so bad. So, really excited to see how the fog stuff works as well. Really excited to see how that works. But, yeah, mate. Shout out to JW. Go and follow him. 
absolute legend. And you do old things as well. Yeah, you do old things as well. But yeah, super happy, mate. Thank you so much. So again, huge thank you to Jason, who's taking a picture. At JW time before the wind comes in, thank you so much to CarPro as well for letting us play with your products. We've done it. Absolute legends. And I'll see you all on the next one.